This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. doing up here in the attic? Comet it went up. There's nothing to watch. <laughs> Come, net. Everything's 3D Hollywood today. I remember back when I was, I was your age, you used to use the sell old TV set. No satellite hookups or anything. Just took our signals out of the air. But wasn't that dangerous? Well, that was, of course, uh, before the uh, Surgeon General found a link between uh, TV signals and cancer. That was before your time. Remember some old 2D shows, though? Uh, some were even in black and white. Wow! Of course, that was uh, before President Turner put that enforced colorization law through in the 20s. Those shows must have been really boring. They weren't even interactive. Uh, don't be so sure about that. There were some great shows back then. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Mm. Ooh, what? what's that? Oh, it's called a VCR. <laughs> Uh, see, back before all the video was put directly into computer memory in the comm net, people used to tape shows. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, there's, there's a tape already in here. Let me let me hook this up here. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, ooh, oh, damn radiation. <coughs> Come back with us to the 60s and 70s, the dwelling place of the lost generation. An era whose heroes, role models, and very lives were molded and formed by weekly installments of favorite television programs. Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. Wasteland mailbag, and it's just... We found person. a letter in it. We found a letter. <laughs> One letter. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and a Mr. Bart Davis from Dublin, Ohio, writes, Dear Vast Wasteland, Hi, my name is Bart Davis, and I'm 24 years old. Several years ago, while channel flipping, I came across your TV program on Wednesday at 10 p.m. I found Actually, it to be... several weeks ago, but right. okay. <laughs> I found it to be quite interesting and humorous. You guys crack me up. You're so laid back and funny. There should be more TV shows where people just act themselves. And he goes on for a while, and then he says, Every once in a while, they show The Addams Family on TBS, and I try to program a VCR to record as many episodes as possible. I think the humor on the show is great, a little dry, and the character's wonderful. I've always been a fan of Charles Addams' cartoons. He used to draw for New York Magazine. Do you think you guys could help me find any info on The Addams Family? 
and he wants to know about books or magazines available and uh, and uh, where where it's on if, if if he can find it. Well, let's see. Uh, I suppose with the big big screen Adams family coming up, there's they're probably going to be another a they're going to be another wave of the show again. I would suppose. Yeah, probably, probably. Uh, but for uh, it was on TBS, I know. And, and this is absolutely useless to people who have cable and are actually watching the show, but you can get it on Channel 8 every once in a while. Well, Channel, Channel 8. 8's disappeared. It, it has. It's, it's, like it's gone. It's gone. Well, I'm so much for that one. Oh, well, That's boom. Where I watched it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was a great source for it. But um, other than that, that's, that's about your only source for uh, Adam's Family. I don't think they've put out Adam's Family, the collector's edition yet. Not uh, yet. Some people, brought you, <laughs> some people have brought you the Cheers collector's edition. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, basically, uh, there's no book that we know of, but there's a darn good chance we'll see a book about the time the movie comes out, I would think. Easily, so, easily. So be combing your, your bookstores and local public libraries about that. So, um, and, and there is a, is a book where you can find a little bit of information about it. Etch, inf Read more about it. <laughs> At your local library, the book. The Library of Congress Cult suggests TV. these books. <laughs> Cult TV. So does uh, LeVar Burton. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. they do indeed Green have Rainbow. a section in there on the Adams Family yeah, where they give some trivia, a little bit of history on the show, a little bit of things, some things about the characters, and um, but a mind bit about you, the show itself. Mind you, it's like four pages. So, but there's a lot of... Which are easily copied on a Xerox. No. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> But uh, there, there it is, and I'm um, sure we'll be able to. Uh, you can pick it up at your local public library. You can. You really can. That's right. And it's a it's a fine fine book. So, anyways, uh, sorry we couldn't help you anymore, Bart. But you know how it is. Uh, it's pretty. Adam's family is kind of kind of a cult show, really. I would I would call it a cult it, show. It just, it's not that popular in syndication because it's black and white, and a lot of syndication people don't like black and white. Yeah. And we haven't seen, of course, we saw that horrible new Adams Family, <laughs> the the black and white stuff or the color stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Well, it's like a good film noir. Wrongs in black and white. That's right. And I think it doesn't go over big because a lot of people don't catch the humor. It is. It is really, you know, uh, as he says, dry. Yeah. Really dry. <laughs> dry. Dry humor. Well, anyways, but not like that, popular that, now, you that know? Dahmer dry stuff. Beer, yeah. dry this, dry that. <laughs> Everything's dry. Dry humor. <laughs> but we thank you, Bart Davis, and for writing into Vast Wasteland, you receive the thrill of nothing. knowing that your letter was read on our show, <laughs> and at least parts of it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Some letters edited for uh, space reasons. Anyways, let's move on to tonight's exciting episode about. Game shows. Game shows. Certainly uh, a fixture ever since the beginning of television and back back into radio because it was really cheap. And <laughs> a, a, a true staple of in the, the entertainment industry, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's no question. And uh, Question? <laughs> Why well, game shows were full of questions. That's right. And answers. Except for Jeopardy. Jeopardy. <laughs> Which went the answers. other way. That's, that's answers to, for questions. You asked the question. Well, they you supplied a question that's right. to the answer that was given. Of course, Jeopardy is the king, queen, oh. the ruler of all game shows. Yes. It is the top game show. As far, especially as far as the, your intellectual level of having to get in there. I mean, you got to be, you know, like... you got to be, like, smart. Brainiac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get Mr. Mensa. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Let's do that again. <laughs> well, that's the top. That's right. the... And it was even good back when Art, Art Fleming, Fleming did it. And it was, like, cheap, and those things, like, split up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Double Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. And now it's all computerized and slick, but it's yeah. still... It's cool. With the, with the oh. interesting graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. It hit the absolute bottom of the game show heap. Mm, well. Chucky Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love well, Chucky Baby. No. Is, well, I suppose that's a game show. You're really at, at, pushing the boundaries of the well, game show there. Well, I guess because <laughs> since Chuck Barris was kind of behind quite game a few show. game shows. Oh, yeah. A lot of bad game shows. Well, game <laughs> shows nonetheless. Yes, yeah, that's right. But the hey, show yeah, bad game shows, isn't that kind of like saying the same thing? <laughs> no. no. Uh, the game <laughs> show is levels. great. There are that's levels. true. There are. <laughs> there's bad and there's I think worse. one of the ones I really liked 
it was on in the afternoons after school was Match Game with What's his name? That Gene guy? <laughs> Gene, Gene Rayburn. Rayburn. Gene Rayburn and Jack Klugman's ex-wife was on there all the time yeah. with Charles Nelson Ryan. Right. Well, no, that's the second. That's the second match well, game actually, because yeah, there was a match second. game way, way before back. then, well, which, yeah. which was the much better. Match game. Well, the, the first match the game was, had had integrity at least. Yeah. I, had, <laughs> actually, there was a. Uh, they just put out. They brought match game out again. <laughs> again? Oh yeah. Oh, Charles Nelson Riley. Yes. And, Nipsey Russell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just like anybody who hadn't worked. <laughs> I think Joel Kirkenbauer's on the show. <laughs> 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 oh my, my goodness. And it's it's exactly the same show. I mean, there's absolutely no difference. It was so trash. Oh know? yeah. They had those questions and just like. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna put a dirty word in no, no, Okay, let's see now. Them fondle my blank. blank. <laughs> the original Magic Game aired on daytime as a series on NBC from 1962 to 1969, and then it went to CBS from 1973 to 1979, and it was revived again as the Magic Game in Hollywood Squares Hour. Oh my goodness! Oh, they man, put the two Hollywood of them together. They, the people just got up off of one and went <laughs> to the other one, basically. Why not? Three other celebrities on the way, but uh, other than that, and then ooh, there was Squares. Match Game PM. <laughs> <laughs> that just, I don't know, it sounds like a Excedrin PM or something. Match game PM. Take it to go to sleep. <laughs> exactly. Learn to keep yourself from falling asleep Hollywood laughing squares. at these people. Well, Hollywood oh, Squares. Not Paul Lind always in the yeah. center there. He's dead now, so. And that, and somebody that's, else there. That's how many people on there are anymore. <laughs> and that's the trouble. That's really what ended the show. More, more than so. anything else. It was just... Paul, no more Paul, Paul Lynn, right here in the middle. Why bother? And Charlie and Charlie Weaver down here at the corner. Charlie Weaver, yeah. And Rosemary. Rosemary is up there at the top above Paul Lynn, and <laughs> I think Rosemary's the only one left. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, then they yeah, had that. Stocks, stocks the celebrities on Hollywood Square. And they had what his name? Uh, what's his name? Was the host? Um, 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 not the guy they had. Peter there. Marshall. Peter, Peter Marshall. Marshall. Peter well, Marshall. He's, he's, isn't he dead now? Too? No, no, I don't think he's so. Dead. He's doing dinner theater. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hey, depending on your definition of death, it's uh. Ooh, Wally, Wally Cox used to be on there yeah. too. Yeah. Wow, that's, my goodness. Okay, <laughs> Mad Hollywood Squares from January twelfth, nineteen sixty eight, to wow, <laughs> this was quick. September twelfth. Well, September that, they're 13th, only, they're only talking about the nighttime. I that's bet. true. That's true. Yeah, that's that's the deal. Yeah, but it's been on it's forever. Been on forever <laughs> yeah. It's been alive forever. <laughs> One of the really cheesy ones that was like on in the evenings too. Uh, truth or, or consequences? consequences. <laughs> With everyone's favorite game show host, Bob, Bob Barker. Barker. <laughs> Please have your animals spayed or neutered. <laughs> 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 what is that kind of kind of this this dramatic note at the end of every episode? <laughs> well, that's that's on. Uh, what's he on? Uh, Price is Right. Price is Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Does that? And he, he like let us he stop too. doing the uh, the hair coloring thing yeah. because that's cruel to animals too or something. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> he decided to be himself. And that's right. But the Price is Right. Let's talk about a game show. The Price is Right. Yes. By golly, ooh, that must have hurt. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that thing's supposed to be. Oh, anyway, The Price is Right. What we got here? It's the uh, ball. Oh, it's John Johnson's. Come on down. Right. No, people no, just no, no. I try, oh, oh, try to call oh, these ladies with rent. like great big. Uh, talent. <laughs> yeah, so that they can jump up and down in front and give themselves black eyes. Well, stuff. just anybody that could get up there and act crazy. That's how they, I heard. You that's how they really. really that's how they really that chose the people to the, be on the, the show. The ones that were random. It's just like, hey, that guy looks like he'd be good. Who could act the craziest uh -huh. when we call their name and right. they just jump up? Ah! <laughs> Yeah. We call their name. And then the thing that always got me was nobody ever fell down getting out of that aisle. I mean, if somebody's really jumping around yeah. like that, they're going to fall over the person in front of them. Whoa, boom. And they're never going to get up. They're walking on the people in that <laughs> they aisle. They edit those Still out. There's probably, there's probably like 20 contestants, and only, <laughs> only seven, of seven or eight of them get actually called make it. The rest the, of them, uh, they, they could they're off in game show, show. the game show hospital. Yeah. The, <laughs> oh, I threw my back out trying to get yeah. out of the road for a Hollywood uh, Spirit. Oh, yeah, they could add a dimension to it. They call the names. People have to jump in a pit of mud and wrestle for the right to play the game. <laughs> well, wasn't there a game like that one time? Um, I don't remember. Sounds I'm like sure something you have to do on beat the clock. Sounds though. like yeah, beat, <laughs> beat the clock. That was that was a show uh -oh. where anything could happen on beat the clock. And, it was and usually did. It was worse than Truth or Johnny. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> And they were on like one right after yeah, the see, other one. Yeah. In some with, markets. With, with the resurgence with the war and everything, the big thing on Truth or Consequences was always they had like military people and their wives would be there. 
you know someone's going to pull up truth or consequences again with the big, now that oh, we've had please. the Gulf War. <laughs> now with these veterans running around now. Didn't they try to revive it once and it just didn't? <laughs> I'm, con I'm convinced. Like, truth or consequence. Within a year, you're going to see so, truth huh? or consequence. Probably not Bob Barker. It'll be some <laughs> that uh, Roy Coombs or whatever his name is that's doing uh, Family Feud now. No, John Davidson. <laughs> okay. John Davidson. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be you know one of those perpetual. No, John horror. Davidson's doing the Hollywood Square. <laughs> oh, is that what's happened to that? Okay, then. Um, uh, Tim Conway. Tim Conway. Tim Conway hasn't done that yet, has he? Of course, Vicki no. Lawrence has become the. Uh, the, the Miss Miss Game Show. She's not playing them. She's running them or something. I see her on a lot of game shows. Quite a few. Wow, what a plummet! <laughs> <laughs> and, and let's talk about game show host names. What do we have here? Wink uh, Martindale. Wink, Wink Martindale. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wink. Are, are they born with these names? Um, well, what, Fleming with Art Fleming. Art that's, Fleming. That's a that's a possible. Gene Rayburn, maybe you know, and mm -hmm. it might have been changed, maybe not. Chuck Barris, well, who can say? Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> Wink Martindale. Um, <laughs> there's a name, and what? How, how many others are there? There's just names and names, and go along here. Let's let's <laughs> let's just think about those names. <laughs> right, guys. Well, let's move on if we don't have any other... Uh, okay. I mean, that was just one that stuck out. That, let's talk about really bad show. I mean, I mean, the worst of the worst of the 70s game shows where there seemed to be this big thing toward uh, big sets for some reason. I remember the Magnificent Pinball Machine. You remember this? <laughs> this is like mid-70s, and they had this enormous... I mean, to the point that the actual pinball was like a bowling ball. Okay, I think and, I'm serious. And you had like a contestant with at, at the plunger pulling back and then you had two celebrities at the paddles on the side uh-huh <laughs> of course what that that's comparable to the great big thing on the joker's wild yeah for some reason oversized <laughs> props are big on game shows <laughs> well that's the thing because it's, it's a carryover from the, the no. it has to be like a carryover from the stage kind of thing right. you know where everything is enlarged so that, that you can see, see it. it that's right and uh, but you got the giant cards on what is the what 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 Card sharks or whatever. Card sharks, yeah. You got the giant cards. You've got your giant pinball machine. You've got your giant. Oh, well, that's the, the giant. Um, dice what, what on is, the high what rollers. Is that thing, the uh, the one arm bandage. Yeah. You've got your just giant. Well, Hollywood Squares so is a giant tic tac toe right. game. <laughs> and that seems to be the prevalent. The, there was a the, there was a show I remember was. Um, Again, like mid seventies, ABC Money Maze. Who remembers Money Maze? Money Ooh. Maze. They, sort of. The the idea was, uh, husband and wife or celebrity. W of course, all show all game shows when they start going bad become all star. Yes, the all star. But at the beginning, it was like a husband and wife, and the husband's up in this booth above this giant maze. Oh yeah! And he has to tell his wife, with uh, and she's blindfolded or something. So it, they, they kept changing the rules Blind every week because it didn't work. stupid. <laughs> yeah. And she had to go around and find valuable prizes that were in the maze, and he had to direct her somehow, but it wasn't... They changed the rules every week because it didn't work. <laughs> and I was, I was amazed that they had this... Because you know, obviously you d they couldn't have the maze the same every time, so every mm -hmm. day they somehow had some movable walls that they could... Well, the maze it's, it's basically day. like a giant office, you know, right. and they just move the partitions <laughs> <Yeah>. around. <laughs> How about giant. treasure hunt? It was like on the treasure hunt, we had to get these big boxes and all oh, those little tiny boxes, a million dollars in well, it. Well, wasn't treasure hunt? That was, was, like a was that one theme. done? <laughs> was that the one that was, or, or am I think of Treasure Island that was actually done in on Little Islands? This was like no, 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 late no, 60s. No, 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 no. Tre treasure hunt don't, with. Um, Chuck Woolery, wasn't no, it? No, 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 it's not Chuck Woolery. It There's was. another one named <laughs> Chuck Woolery. No, 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 I, hey, and I can't remember working. the guy's name. See if, see if we can find a, a reference to Treasure Hunt. But this is, uh, there were like, there was a contestant and they did this whole dopey thing at the beginning just to, to build up the excitement of, they were going to pick one of the boxes, they had to go up and get it, and then it could be absolutely nothing, nothing. or something dumb, or $25,000! Oh! <laughs> Money, okay, money. here's treasure hunt. Ooh, that, that can't be that one. No, no, no. The, the later, there was a later treasure. Okay. Jeff Edwards. Jeff Edwards, yeah. Chuck <laughs> Woolery, they're interchangeable. That's the new know. treasure hunt. That was the new the treasure new hunt. The new treasure hunt, okay. All I remember was, was the big the thing was... old game. It, there was... There was like a football theme for the beginning. It was like, it was like a march theme. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
<laughs> the new treasure hunt ran from 73 to 76. That's right. Okay. And let's see, there was no quiz, only an opportunity for two contestants to pick a treasure chest with the $25,000 check! Yay! It played to the advantage of the emotions of the contestants, and Barris, 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 not Chucky, baby, Barris! Oh, yeah, oh, Probably yeah. Probably so. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be. Yep, by golly. Well, he bought the title and the rights to it in 59 after the old treasure hunt went out. Thing, so. <laughs> That's all he did. <laughs> then then, then the, other, the other, and probably the best, for making people look really super, 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 super stupid, let's make a deal. <laughs> With TV's big trader, Money, Money Hall. Hall. Money Hall. <laughs> and the lovely Carol oh, Merrill. <laughs> And the Jay. The, the archetype. The and Jay, the, the, the TV tray schlepper, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> the lovable sidekick. But Carol Merrill basically, uh, uh, you know, was was the archetype for all that came after her. Yeah, I think <laughs> was, she probably has a was school, you the know. the glamorous hostess, you know. <laughs> did the... That's where they sent all the prices right, girls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carol, what's in that box today? Hey. It's a brand new car! <laughs> and then they, they always said, like, like, the people would have to elephant. dress up or something. <laughs> yeah. People would come in, like, in turkey costumes or big giant fruit and right. things. <laughs> like, really, really <laughs> And it got dumber as make, thing was long. And, I love like, the show. And they, they would, okay, and Monty would come out, um, do you happen to have a spatula? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bags and bags of stuff, and just bags everything stuff, they could possibly think Everything that they of. just took out of the house, you know, yeah. they'd go to garage sales homes. and they'd pull stuff out, you <laughs> yeah. know. You happen to have a 1943, um, <laughs> grandfather clock? Yeah. yeah. Yes! Oh! Yeah, you get a dollar! <laughs> a dollar for that! Wow! Or you can take what's in the box! Oh, yeah. Or behind this curtain, yeah. or behind door number one, door <laughs> number two, or door number three! Yeah. And they pick what's behind door number three, and it's a 1943 grandfather clock! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Or it was a zonk, like a goat or a uh, pig or something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or the or old, old wheelbarrow old Jay would bring out. Yeah, oh, did, you yeah. won the old wheelbarrow. <laughs> and they'd be all sad, and he says, oh, you could trade it away for what's behind this one. And they'd trade it away, and he said, oh, but you should have looked in here because there's $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> and what did I get? Well, let's look. Oh, it's a brand new car! Yeah. Oh, they're happier <laughs> anyway. People really act as stupid on that oh, show. Oh, man. <laughs> Boy, I just wanted to be on that show, you know. <laughs> and there was another show. They just they just tried to bring that back again. Let's make a deal. And they and Monty Hall said, I absolutely will not do it. He he said he would be executive producer, but he refused to actually host. <laughs> and so they had this other host and it didn't work. And they like pleaded with Monty and he said, Okay, I will temporarily do it until you get another host. And yeah, so they right. wheeled him back out and it was like <laughs> and it didn't. I guess it didn't work, but uh, I think the ratings boosted a little bit when Monty came back out. Yeah, you see people coming in now. They're like, they're like, uh, they gone to the Rick Baker School of Makeup for their costume. <laughs> Gee, yeah, it's like, they spent somebody, more money on the costume than they did on the ticket to get there. Right. <laughs> Duh. Oh, but I okay. I remember a show now. It, uh, you, I guess neither of you do, but it's what? called. It was something like Treasure Island. I I'm remember. Sure, I referenced. I'm it. sure oh, there was a Treasure Island. It. it was. It was in a big <laughs> studio, and they had these actual little sand islands there, and they had water around them, and the people would have to go on the island. They'd have to. It's like um, whatever that thing is on Nickelodeon where they had to get the flags. They had to go through the things to the get the flag. Double dare. It's like double dare, except no, that's not double. Yeah, that's double. Except dare. it was there were islands, and they had to dig in the sand to find I the flag. Remember this. And this they like had to go to another island. And, and dig. <laughs> no, this was on in the afternoons. It was on like around lunchtime. I'd be eating a peanut butter sandwich, watching this thing, watching these people to see if they're gonna get through those islands to get all these things. And if they gather up enough of them, they can go and try to find a big treasure chest, and it's got something in it, and it was just great. Okay, I remember the afternoons was being password. Oh, yeah. Oh, password, password is. Oh, password is. <laughs> With Alan Lennon. Yeah. Yeah. The password <laughs> is. <laughs> Coma. <laughs> and uh, Betty, that's where Betty White Betty really did. Well, really her husband did yeah. the show, yeah. Alan yeah. Ludden. Until he went to the coma. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to do a game show in a coma. Well, that's why they had to cancel the show. Coma, though. <laughs> and then what, what else was there? Um, what's my line? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's that was my that line? was like a that was back when game shows still had integrity. They brought right. that but one back. But they brought though. it back. Well, With Kitty Carla. <laughs> Kitty's still there. That same feather boa on and her hair still sitting yeah. out there like Ann Landers or somebody. 
Well, her eyes are just going squintier and squintier, though. Pretty soon she won't, we won't be no, able to see not, what she's looking no, at. No, wait a minute. That's to tell the truth. To tell the truth, Kim. To tell the truth. That's the one with Kitty Carlisle. And, and Peggy Cass wishes to be on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy's still with us. I don't no, think I don't Peggy's think so. with no, us. Peggy, she, Peggy has, has left. There were too many. She had too plane. many amputations yeah. and things put on back yeah. on there, I like an know. arm and a leg, and then she's oh, just gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's all these things happen. <laughs> oh, this I'm tragedy. sorry. Well that, was, well, that was right when. Dumber time. I mean, things yeah. like I got a secret and tell <laughs> tell the truth and and what's my line all came out after the big game show scandals of the '50s because all of a sudden you couldn't have big prizes, so you had to have celebrities. Yes. And since big celebrities didn't do television, you had little celebrities like <laughs> Kitty Carlisle. <laughs> Who became a big celebrity Bernard, because of the fact well, that she was on the show. Yeah. Bennett Surf. Ooh, Bennett Surf. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Family Circle. Murky Kill Gallon. Ha! 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 Okay. <laughs> My goodness. And Bill Cullen seemed to be there all the time. Bill Cullen was around for a long time. Bill, Bill Cullen was like the... He even hosted like some a, shows well, He hosted the original Price is Right. Yeah. And, he, I mean, through the 70s, it was just like, any time that... It was like uh, there was like there must be like a game show host clearinghouse I'm assuming in Hollywood like a union and <laughs> and and any time that anybody got sick you knew there's Bill Cullen being the substitute host. <laughs> but he was so good at. He was. He was. <laughs> and he could just drop into any show. He knew the rules of all of them. Not that they were. You know, <laughs> for most of them. You know. Concentration. He used oh, to frustrate no, that was me game. with you down. And again, that's back. That's back. Yeah. Classic concentrate. Back? Alex Trebek. As if he doesn't have enough shows. But he does like the good game shows. Well, he, currently, I believe this is this was a situation a couple months ago on NBC. They actually had Alex Trebek with Classic Concentration, followed by To Tell the Truth with Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> it was like he ran between studios. The Hi. hardest working man in game <laughs> oh, no, shows. Yeah. Today. We cannot. We can't talk about. Um, we can't talk about game shows without mentioning two, at least two that okay. were. Well, some of the 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 well, they're they're bad ones because they were Chuck Barris. The dating game, the dating yeah. game. <laughs> which was usually followed by the newlywed game. Bob Eubanks. Bob Eubanks, yeah. Bob Eubanks, where people would just be stupid and You see what he does now? He actually goes out to like fairs and stuff. And like Oak County Fair plays newlywed game. Bob Eubanks is not even in the needs it. Yeah, they've yeah. had it. They've had it. Well, I'm sure they have. They, they've had it a couple, a few times. It was, it was just great. But I tell you, that's that was just, um, <laughs> I don't know. Real, of course, we kind of have a dating game now, but it's called Love, Love Connection, Connection with, with Chuck, Chuck Woolery. Yeah, which is the. But the it's not the same as the dating game. No. Cause you can't <laughs> see them. <laughs> <laughs> they met each other. <laughs> the romance. And they didn't come on there and tell things like. You see face, you know. She's thinking she's gonna get something. He comes around the corner. He's like. Oh no! <laughs> I have to go on a date with this guy now. <laughs> Yikes! Well, at least I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Newlywed game. I'll tell you, one of my favorite ones had to be. They had this lady come out there and they say, "Okay, okay, tell us what your husband's favorite uh, rodent is." That's a rodent. Yeah. I don't know what a rodent yes. is. Well, come on, we need an answer. <laughs> uh, his saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, God. Then you get the people out there to start fighting. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hitting I like at those. each other. That's right. Okay. Oh, getting the whoopee yep. sign. Yep. <laughs> so, it looks like we're out of here. And next time, it's going to be the big Batman rerun show. All actually, right. The, 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 the uh, beginning of uh, the pilot for the show, actually. actually the for pilot the show. for our show, yeah. And you'll get to see it next time on... Best That's And remember, have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody! <laughs> That's us. Let's put an applause sign on. <laughs>